Hi, I'm Sandra Hawkins, and I want to show you the basic while loop in Java. So I have Eclipse open, and I've created a package called Loops. I'm going to right-click on that and create a new class, and I'm going to call this while loop example. Now, on all of these at the minute, I'll make sure to check the main method. That's where I'm going to type in the code. Now, just delete that comment. So a while loop looks like this. It's the keyword while followed by round brackets and then followed by optional curly brackets. I'm going to leave those out for the minute. Inside the round brackets goes an expression or a condition and that must equate to a Boolean, either true or false. And it di dictates if the loop should execute. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable that acts as my counter. I'm going to call it int counter equals zero, so it starts out at zero. Um, if you know how many times you want a loop to iterate, say 10, you would start with a counter at zero and your condition will be while counter less than 10. Now I'm going to talk through this, so I think four times will be enough. Now the body of the while loop goes on the, the next line. So as I said, I'm going to leave out curly brackets for the minute. I'm going to put in a printout here. I'm going to print out the value of the counter. So the counter is and concatenate onto the end of that with plus. And I'm going to use the variable name there, counter. Now, if anybody has spotted a problem with this, I am going to execute it. Now, if you can see down here, I have an infinite loop. So the counter is zero. Just going to stop that so you will get a red button there when your program is running so watch out for that especially when you're doing loops so you can get infinite loops by accident so i have my counter is set at zero is zero less than four well, yes it is so it goes into the body of the loop prints out the counter is zero and then goes back to the condition again which because the counter has never changed in value that condition will always be true so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to add in a line here to increment the counter. So counter plus plus, that is a shortcut for counter equals counter plus one. So they're the same thing. So counter plus plus is the shorthand for that. Now I'm going to run this program again and the output's going to be the same. So I'll just hit stop there again. So curly brackets I've left out. Curly brackets are optional on a while loop, but if you leave them out, only one statement is included in the while loop. So the counter plus plus never happens. It just goes into the loop there and go, keeps going forever. So I'm going to put in my curly brackets around that. Also, when the loop is finished, I'm just going to print out um, after the while loop. Now I'm going to run that and I'm just going to talk through here the output from this. Now. So we have a counter up here that starts off at zero. The next line here, this reads while zero is less than four because the counter is currently at zero. So is zero less than four? Yes. So when that's true, execution will go inside the loop and we get our first print out here down the bottom, the counter is zero. Next line, so after our print out, the next line is counter plus plus. So that adds one onto our counter, so it'll no longer be zero, it will be one. Now, when the body of the loop is finished, that was our counter plus plus, control will go from here back to the condition. And our condition is now counter, so counter's at one. Go again when one less than four. So yes, one is less than four, so in we go again. We get our printout of our counter, which is one down the bottom there. The counter is one. And then one gets added onto the counter, counter plus plus. So now our count goes to two. So that was our counter plus plus. From inside the body of the loop, it goes back around and back to the condition. So go again while counter less than four. So it's two less than four, yes. So in we go again. Print out the value of the counter here. Currently it's at two, so that's that line there. And now counter plus plus. So now that goes from two to three. When that line, the body of the loop is finished, we go around again, back to the condition. Go again while counter, which is three less than four. Yep, yeah, three is less than four. So we get that print out again. 
counter. This time the counter is at three. Next line inside the loop, counter plus plus. So there, trying to keep these in a straight line, <laughs> not working too well. So now our counter goes to four. Is four less than four? So no. So when the condition here is false, execution will not go into the body of the while loop, but it will go to this line here after the while loop. So that will happen when our condition is false. Oh, sorry. So when the condition eventually it will become false, then execution goes to the print line after our while loop, and that is our last print out there. So that is a basic while loop. The while round brackets your condition that must equate to a boolean, either true or false. And if it's true, the body of the loop will execute, and then it goes back to the condition again. So the last thing that happens in a while loop is the condition is tested to see if it should go again. When the condition is false, then execution will go down after the while loop.